For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You are now tuning into the program, Strong Nation, with your host, Pastor Marcos. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Strong Nation. Today is Friday, and many people, they are preparing themselves for this weekend, and they are kind of down, they are kind of frustrated, because from Monday to Friday to this day, they had high hopes that they didn't see come to pass. And I want to speak of frustration. There are people, they are frustrated with the work of their hands, they are frustrated with the way their business are, they are frustrated, or the way their business is, they are frustrated with the outcome of what they have been doing. They are frustrated for various reasons, because they have submitted applications, they have been to interviews, they have been promised a place, employment, and so forth, but they didn't see it come to pass. It's one more week that is about to come to an end, and they are kind of disappointed because what they were planning to achieve, they were not able to achieve. I want to show you right now a testimony of someone who was also frustrated, but when this person got to the altar, when this person understood that revolt was the strength that would bring God down and transform lives, when this person understood that complaining was not enough, but action needed to be taken. The frustrations gave room. Well, let us watch. You are now watching Strong Nation. God works with those who revolt because only those who have nothing to lose are ready to obey His voice. The Campaign of Israel in the Valley of Decision. My name is Dave. Um, I haven't taken part in the campaigns. The last campaign that I took part in, it was very difficult. Life was very hard because I had um, two big mortgages to pay. Feel depressed because you want to do so many things that you need to do for the home, and you can't do it because of these two loans. So it had you done. Yeah, there were moments when things was really hard, when money had finished completely and you had to borrow. To make you feel less of a man, to make you feel bad because you have, you're working and you have to borrow money to get by. It was really tough. You have to borrow it um, to make sometimes you want to buy everything finished, something come up, yeah, like take for instance a, a fridge, the fridge might spoil. So you have to go and borrow money now to fix these things. So it was real difficult. Difficult, real, real difficult at that time. I heard about the campaign. God talked to me, told me what to do and how to do it. To my revolt and my faith, I went to the altar and placed my all. Well, I allowed the, um, I did not pay the mortgage, I allowed it to, to go into arrears. And I took this, uh, the, the entire pay that was supposed to pay for the mortgage and I placed it on the altar. Yes, it was hard. It, it, yeah, I did start to worry a little bit, but I said it's in God's hands. And I left it in his hands and he did answer. Through my revolt, I accomplished a big financial breakthrough. It was three times more than we were, I was expecting. And it helped me to pay off one of the loans completely. So I'm free from that burden. So I feel very good knowing that that burden has been lifted off my shoulder and paid, that loan has been paid off so I can do a lot more things that I want to do now. When I paid off the loan, there was a, it was like a big burden. I went through the pandemic with ease, with no worries. I work every day. They made me essential. I came out every day to work. So it was a big, big difference. God take us through this with ease. My advice to anyone who is looking at it, no matter how hard it seems, you have to make it. Build your sacrifice and place, put your trust in God. Place it on the altar, He will answer. The Campaign of Israel in the Valley of Decision. You are now watching Strong Nation. My name is Vanessa Giddens. For the past four months, I was supposed to expect some money to come to my hand. 
and due to that I wasn't getting it so every week and month I would be checking and see if the money was in my possession but it was not there so one day I decided to take part in a challenge I needed an urgent answer because I was unhappy of the things was happening into my life. After I did my challenge, I decided to go and check because I believe that God is going to answer me. After the challenge, what I was waiting for four months, God had put it into my hand and he gave me an urgent miracle that today I'm happy and being faithful to him, I get my breakthrough. And by, tithe, by returning your tithes and offering, God will bless you the same way that he blessed me. You are now watching Strong Nation. We have watched various testimonies now, to be precise, four testimonies. We have watched four testimonies. People who were frustrated, people who were disappointed, four testimonies. If it was one, you could say it was a coincidence, but it, it's four people, four different people, four different genders, people who do not know each other. But all of them, they had one, key, one thing in common. All of them, they had one thing in common. The altar. They all came to the altar. They all materialized their faith on the altar. They were revolted. They understood the strength they had deep within. And they decided to give ears to the word of God. Who came down and changed their lives. As it happened to Gideon, before God, Gideon was a kind of a man. After he met God, he became a different one. Because he listened to the word of God. And when you listen to the word of God, changes take place. And I want to invite you to listen to the word of God. I want to invite you to be with us this Sunday. Yes, this Sunday. 7 o'clock in the morning, Pastor Philip will be with you. Half past eight in the morning, I will be with you. And ten o'clock in the morning, Pastor Junior will be with you this Sunday. You are going to be led to the altar. You are going to be led to a place where your life will change in Port of Spain, number 40, South Key. We will be together in the headquarters, in the national headquarters of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. Also, in all the universal churches nationwide, Trinidad and Tobago, you cannot miss because what God is going to do for you will be so great, so great, that even if you were told, you would not believe. But you have to come, you have to stand on the altar. The altar is a place of answers. Speaking about the altar being a place of answers, let us watch more testimonies of people who Climb the altar of people who believe the word of God and their lives were transformed. Let us watch. 
You are now watching Strong Nation. I think it was around when I started high school. Uh, before that, things at home were going well. My dad had just bought a house. Uh, you know, we were living a comfortable life. And I remember I was in grade eight, I think when I was 14 years old, uh, we started having financial problems at home. My dad, uh, he started be getting a short time and my mom, she was not earning well at work. And it got so bad to a point where at home, uh, we started struggling to get food, to have something to eat. Um, and it came to a point where they even cut out the lights at home. You know, with all these problems around, it, it made life very difficult for me. I, I would have to go to school hungry. School was far, a bit far from home, so I'd have to walk quite a distance to go to school. In my academics, it really affected me where I would start performing badly because I would have to go to school the whole day, I would have an empty stomach, and I wouldn't be able to focus in class. Uh, I was mocked at school. Uh, you know, I'd go to school smelling of paraffin and, you know, I'd be mocked by other students. Yeah, I think that's where it, it really affected me because I started, you know, failing and I started thinking that I was a failure myself. Sometimes we wouldn't have money for the candle. So I would go and write tests and exam would, would, would not study because we didn't have a, a candle for me to study the, the day before, the night before. My situation was a bit different because I was still at school. I didn't know about the church. but. Because of the situations we were facing at home, my father was the one who was introduced to the church. My dad said, no, there's a prayer in the church, in the treatment there, uh, I must carry my pen, you know, and uh, for, for me to receive the blessing so that if I write, I, I can do well. So I went, that was my first time I came in the church and I received the prayer, then I passed, I remember I did well in those exams. And then that is when the first time I started seeing the power of God, I would for, go with my father to the church, and I would participate, you know, in the, in the chains of prayer, and I would start seeing God's, uh, the, the God's power. Started seeing it in my family as well. My dad, he got a good job. My mom got a good job. At school, things started getting a bit uh, better, my performance-wise, because now I started believing in God. And that's where things started changing. Coming to the church, uh, I would hear about the campaign of Israel, but I would think I'm still a student and you know, it's not for me, it's for people who are working. I started doing well in school to a point where I could actually go and study at university. But the issue is at home, yes, the situation was improving, but you know, my parents were, were not in a condition to take me to university. And that was the moment where I took a decision, okay, this campaign, it, it changes people's life, then it can change my life as well. And in that, in that campaign, the first campaign I participated in, I remember it was uh, June of 2009. I was in my matric year, and I, I asked God to, to bless me for me to study at university, to have a qualification. I would save up my bus fare for me to, 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 to uh, save it up uh, to, to, uh, to build up my sacrifice. Um, I would try and do some peace jobs in the side to, to, build, my, to build my sacrifice. Now, what was very interesting, before you go to university, so I had, I had submitted the forms, application forms, then they come back to you and they tell you whether they, you, they, your marks approve you or they disapprove you. And then if they approve you, there was a fee that you have to pay to secure your spot. Now, the money that I raised, it was, it was gonna be able to help. Whether I put it here and, and secure my place at university or I surrender on the altar, I didn't, pay any registration fee to the university. I just put, put everything on the altar. The following week, it was a Sunday. Um, there was a newspaper that came home. We never usually get Sunday newspaper. When I opened the newspaper, there was that best opportunity that I was, I was looking for, the type of best opportunity I was looking for. I wanted to study engineering, and there was a big engineering company that were willing to sponsor students. So. I, I saw this is the opportunity from God. So I applied, I submitted. That interview, they told me there that they're gonna pay for all my studies. After participating in the campaign, I saw God's power in my life uh, to a point where when I was studying, I had even condition to support at home. Now, standing in front of you, I am really blessed. I have my BSc and master's degree in chemical engineering. 
I'm currently doing my PhD in artificial intelligence and chemical engineering. My project, uh, big companies are sponsoring, support, are sponsoring my, my project. Uh, some of them, they want to take me on for me to, uh, to broaden the project in, in, in their companies. I'm also a lecturer. I'm one of the youngest lecturers at, at the university that I am in. Uh, God has blessed me with a car. Uh, I have my own place to stay. And um, in my family, there's peace. I'm able to support at home. And God has really shown his power. You are now watching Strong Nation. We have great news. All the inspiring, uplifting, and positive content we at the Universal Living Faith Network bring you will now be available through various more television operators. You can now enjoy our special programming through DirecTV on channel 379, Charter Communications on channels 472 and 496, Verizon Fios on channel 795, Frontier on channels 226 and 726, as well as Consolidated Communications, Buckeye Broadband and Hotwire Communications. Stay connected and let all your friends know. You are now watching Strong Nation. My name is Charlotte, and before becoming a faithful tither, my life, well, tight for me, my finances used to be down. In fact, that I always used to have monies, but it never used to stay. It will always, I, I've been, I always had to be living paycheck to paycheck. And every month I keep saying, that is not supposed to happen. It's not going to happen. I can't be living paycheck to paycheck. I can't be living paycheck to paycheck. And it would happen every month. Every month, when I think I would buy this, buy that, and then I would see zero dollars. Before my time, before I reach time for my pay, my salary at the month end, I say, but wait, how is that? And I always say I budget my money is properly. Well, I think I budget my money is properly, but it never used to stay for all by the time I give my mother bills or because I didn't I wasn't renting. I was living rent free. Before even when I was renting, I used to I used to always wondering, you know, always running close to it. And then when I went back home, I didn't have to pay rent. And still, my money's never used to last. It never used to last. I always have, and my mother said, well, you're supposed to, you used to give me before your tithes and stuff. Why don't you, you know, give, continue doing it on a regular basis? You can't give God what you want when you want. Because I used to do that. I used to give God what I want. Because sometimes I say, oh gosh, you know, I want to go out somewhere, or I want to go party. I used to give her the money. I didn't used to go to church. She was going, and I used to give her the money. And then when I started going to Universal Church, they were talking about it. And I said, well, I know about tithing. I know about it. But I, they say it had to be faithful. But I never used to give the way I supposed to. I, would, I started giving, but I never give, you know, taking the time off to take time to prepare my ties and say, Lord, I'm returning or taking the first when I separate his own first. I used to leave his money and when time come to go to church, I used to take the money out then and put it after I done spend the money, spend what I have to spend for everything else and not put God on first. And it's only when I remember pastor talking about it, I heard other pastors, but one pastor in particular, Pastor Lewis talked about being faithful. And he said, you know, you have to show God, you have to show that God is first then you will see how your finances, everything change. You have to give, you know, honor God with your tithes. Because I just used to take it out last. And then I started to talk about doing it first. And I said, okay, I will do that. I will separate God money first above everything else. Before I even spend the money, I used to take out his money before out of the bank account, put God monies in first, and then use my monies for whatever it is need to be done. And recently for something for me, the insurance for my car is a lot of money. And just recently, two weeks ago, and I said, well, gosh, with the COVID and everything happening, I said, God, where am I going to get that money? I said, my car insurance is due on the 6th of May. It was due on the 6th of May. And I said, God, I need the money. I am not working right now. You know that. 
and the money is not coming generating fast enough but i need to get those few thousand dollars for me to pay my insurance and i went down remember going down with the tithes envelope raising the tithes envelope and i said god i have to get that money it must come and i believe in you these pastors said they are your prophets they said to challenge you as a case because i'm faithful so i could afford to challenge you at the altar so i went down with my envelope and i raised it i remember that morning and i said god every day i spirit you with this envelope but now i'm telling you i need that money i don't know where it's coming from but you have to give that money for me i don't know where it is and it's amazing i said god is always so great i always said and my sister was telling me she said you know when you ask god for money he's always get money he is always getting money and i said yes because you wouldn't believe i opened my email and there it was the monies that i needed the and more for me to pay my insurance so i got the money the day it happened was the sunday i prayed with the envelope <laughs> and the tuesday i went and i paid my i got the monies out i was able to get the monies into my account and i went and i paid the full amount of money for my insurance for the vehicle and i said god is amazing i tell everybody when it comes to tithing you have to be faithful and you can't give god seconds because i always separate the tides first i must separate my ties first whatever happens afterwards it it will always i is always have enough i have to say i always have enough regardless of what you are now watching strong nation gideon did like this perdition those who are timid and afraid, fearful, you may go back, return. 22,000 said, I am fearful and afraid, and they returned. Is there a way for a person like this to make a difference? Is there a way for a person like this to prosper? But go and ask the 22,000. Pay attention. Go and ask the 22,000. Do you want to stay in a palace, in a mansion? What will they say? If you ask them, do you want to eat well? What will they say? If you ask them, do you want to have the best of the land? What would they answer? If you ask them, do you want to be great? What would they answer? They would say yes. It's funny. To want it, everyone wants. But to be valiant, to be courageous, to go to war, not everyone wants. You are now watching Strong Nation. 389-9880709-8062. Those are the numbers for you to call. Those are the numbers for you to text, to WhatsApp us. We are going to have your names and problems written down and placed into the holy oil. If you are in need of advice, if you are in need of guidance, if you are in need of instruction, if you are in need of direction, very well, we have our counselors ready to listen to you, to guide you, to advise you. We also have the online pastor a platform of the universal church of the kingdom of God that works 24 7 no matter the time of the day or the time of the night there will be a mail of God to speak to you if you want to get to know how to access the online pastor you can just follow the steps that will be given to you right now yes right now and you are going to be able to speak with all of our pastors that are available to guide you this hour and when we come back it will be our moment of prayer prepare your glass of water your bottle of water because when we return we are going to be praying for you you are now watching strong nation we have great news all the inspiring uplifting and positive content we at the universal living faith network bring you will now be available through various more television operators you can now enjoy our special programming through direct tv on channel 379, Charter Communications on channels 472 and 496, Verizon Fios on channel 795, Frontier on channels 226 and 726, as well as Consolidated Communications, Buckeye Broadband, 
and Hotwire Communications. Stay connected and let all your friends know. You are now watching Strong Nation. Perhaps with all the situation the world is facing nowadays, you feel lonely, frustrated, and have no one to talk to. Perhaps you're under quarantine and isolated from loved ones and going to church and speaking to a pastor face to face is no longer an option. Thinking about you, the Universal Church created the online pastor live chat. 24 hours a day, pastors are on standby to listen to you, give a word of faith and pray for you and your family. Completely free and confidential. To access this service, visit ulfn.org slash online pastor. When you click on the specific problem or the speak to a pastor button, a dialog box will pop up. Fill in your information. Agree to the terms and begin chatting immediately. You have three options, text, voice, and video. Need to speak to a pastor today? Just visit ulfn.org slash online pastor. Available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, free to all. You are now watching Strong Nation. Unisocial Trinidad and Tobago. In being relevant to this cause, we, the Universal Church in the region of Princess Town, continuing the food drive, have not only collected the food items, but went out to those who contacted us in this desperate and critical time of need. Hi, good day everyone. Hi, we are here from the Unisocial Work, our team here in Princess Town. And we were out there this morning. We came together, we went out there this morning, went in the community of St. Charles. And there we took to the streets, we took to the villages. We went out to collect food items, grocery items from members of the area and it was really really good it was really responsive we got a lot of help we got a lot of assistance from the people out there as they take from their table to give to others god will certainly bless them we also like to give thanks to the community the people who really came out and assist us this morning we give you we like to give them thanks and we do appreciate and let them know that we do appreciate every little help that we can give so we can help to others. Hello, everybody. Uh, we received we received a, a text saying that somebody was in need of a help, and uh, here we are today to help this person. Uh, a family, a mother that has five children. We, as soon as we got this message, as soon as we got this text, we immediately we contact this person. We get the location. We came by the house. And here we are. The people from Prince Stal, they help us with the donations to buy the groceries. Many of them they brought there in the church. And we came by the house of this person and we brought we brought the groceries, the supplies. She is the one, she is the person that we came to to drop this the supply, this help. And I should like to say something to all of you. I just want to say thanks to everyone who contacted this guy, this brother's pastor. And he contacted me immediately, um, knowing that I have five kids and I have one in the hospital. And he, he prayed for me. He reached out to me for my kids. He bring more than enough for me. And I thank God for sending him and thank everyone who put in with money or anything else. I just want to say thanks to everyone. And we would like to thank you so much, everybody, everyone, that they assisted us to help the people who are in need of help. Hi again, 
We are here right now in another house in Princess Tau region, Princess Tau area, because we received we received a notification say that somebody here in this area was in need of help. And right now I have here this person. We contact her, and here we are. And but can you explain to people how is the situation here in the house? Well, the situation is tough at this time. Very, very tough. You're not working. Nobody's working. Huh? Everybody just at home. Okay. So uh, about groceries, you don't have much in the house. No, not much groceries. It's run out very fast. How many kids live here in this house? Well, just three. Three. Three kids. Okay. Three kids and another one, another one. on the way. Yeah. Maybe you are watching us right now and you are in a position that you can help. The Unisocial Group of the Universal Church is here to assist everyone who is in need of a help. And she is the one that she needs help. In the house, besides she, more other family members live. And three kids and another child is on the way. So if right now you can help us, for sure, this family will appreciate so much. Right? So thank you very much and uh, you can stop in any universal church to leave your donation there, your groceries or hampers and we are going to give it to those who are in need of it. To distribute the hampers in order to help them to sustain their household and to show them that God has not forgotten about them. Look at all of you that is watching here. We are in the branch of Rio Claro and we just finished collecting the grocery supplies from the supermarket and as you can see we had a positive turn up we got some grocery supplies that we are going to use internally in order to help those who are in the communities those who are suffering those who are without those who are unfortunate those who don't have so you that is watching all the viewers you can feel free to help us and universal church in order for us to help those who are in the communities and probably they don't have anything to feed their kids they don't have anything to eat when the night comes and that is the purpose of the UNITT group the unisocial group reaching out to those who they can't provide for themselves those who probably nobody knows about those who everybody forgets about we reach out to them in order to help them and show them that God still can change any situation You are now watching Strong Nation. When no one else gives you the light of day, or even to hear your voice becomes a burden, prayer is the way to get the hope and strength you need to overcome your troubles. Please close your eyes. It's time for prayer. I have my bottle of water with me. I believe you have your bottle of water, your glass of water with you. And we are going to be talking to God on your behalf. If you are trying to get hold of us, you can continue calling or you can text, you can WhatsApp. Even after this program, we have our counselors ready to answer to your call. Your names and your problems will be written down and we are going to be placing it into the holy oil, though not on air. So now is our moment of prayer. Let us talk to God. My God and Father, in the name of Jesus, I now pray on behalf of this person who got to this day Friday, filled with deceptions and disappointments. But the life of this person is not going to remain the same because you have offered her, you have offered him this evening an opportunity of a change. Reason why I consecrate this water and I determine that when they drink of this water, they'll drink of your power, they'll drink of your might. When they drink of this water, they are going to drink of a renewal, revival. You are going to guide them, strengthen them, heal them, deliver them, protect them, provide for them.
I pray, O oh Father, that those who now pray with us, no matter where they are in another country, abroad, or here in Trinidad and Tobago, that your spirit may take over their lives and all that they desire may be theirs. The same way you have revealed yourself to Gideon, reveal yourself to those who now pray with us. I also ask of you, O oh God, that you may bring healing, prosperity, light, peace, restoration, deliverance, to Trinidad and Tobago. Bless our governors, bless our leaders, inspire them so that the decisions they may take may be aligned with yours and this country may develop, may grow according to your will. With a blessing, I bless all those who now pray with us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may now drink from your blessed water and be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This Sunday is the Holy Communion, is the Lord's Supper. And we are going to be together, 7 o'clock in the morning, the main service with Pastor Philip, half past 8 in the morning, with the strong nation gathering of faith, we are going to be partaking of the Holy Communion, you and I together in our headquarters here in Trinidad and Tobago, and 10 o'clock in the morning, Pastor Junior, likewise in the same faith. You are going to have three opportunities in order to come to the altar and be filled with the Spirit of God. Because when the Spirit of God comes upon our lives, everything changes. And the changes you want to see, you'll be able to see once you get to the altar, the valley of decision, the place of victory. Speaking of victory, arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. We have great news. All the inspiring, uplifting, and positive content we at the Universal Living Faith Network bring you will now be available through various more television operators. You can now enjoy our special programming through DirecTV on Channel 379, Charter Communications on Channels 472 and 496, Verizon Fios on Channel 795, Frontier on Channels 226 and 726, as well as Consolidated Communications, Buckeye Broadband, and Hotwire Communications. Stay connected and let all your friends know. You cannot start your day without the worker's prayer. Monday to Saturday, 5.30 a.m. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago